lonesome song. This lonesome song. I'm singing you. I'm singing you. This lonesome song. This lonesome song. I'm singing you. I'm singing you. This lonesome song. This lonesome song. I'll be gone, gone, gone someday for long. Here we sang you a, a Norman Blake song. We like a lot of Norman Blake songs and tunes, and we'll try a different one for you this time. This one's called Uncle. And uh, there's a lot of talk about Bill Monroe's uncle, Penn, who taught him how to play mountain music and old time music and the kind of where bluegrass music came from as far as Bill Monroe's concerned, if you look at it from the Bill Monroe lens of where bluegrass music comes from. Uncle Penn. So here's a tune called Uncle. <laughs> Fiddled all his natural life and he farmed a long, long time. His wife and kids passed away and they left him here behind. Well, he came one day to live with us when I was a child. Still, he had to ramble around the countryside a while. But the money was scarce, the times was bad, the groceries mighty plain. What's it to do over boys at them times again? Around. But if 
we made any money there, we always spit it down. All oh, cause the money was scarce, times is bad, the groceries mighty plain. What's it to do, old oh, boys, at the grand times again? time fiddle music from people like Uncle Penn. Here's one called The Cat Came Back. These all, all his tunes have great old names. And clapping along without without being asked. I got another kind of funny story for it. We, we played a festival one time in Denmark, this really wonderful festival called Tuner. Tuner Festival, like like the thing you put on your on your mandolin or your guitar, this thing. Tuner, yeah. but spelled T-O-N-D-E-R. And uh, anyway, we're at this festival and this Irish band played right before us and they had a, a gal who was a singer and she didn't have an instrument. So she's out there singing and being awesome and 
clapping and like, you know, 3,000 people are like clapping along because she's out there doing this the whole time. And, and then Foghorn gets up and we all play instruments and we're up there playing away and we're strumming away and we had a fun show, but people didn't really clap along that much with us. <laughs> and then we get off the stage and the promoter, who was kind of our booking agent and promoter, he's like, you know, I really think that you guys need to um, get the crowd clapping. And I was thinking to myself, like, how am I going to do that? <laughs> like, so I was like, I don't know how to do that. So thank you for doing it on your own. <laughs> Take your own initiative. <clears throat> I guess I could have stopped for a moment and encouraged it, but, you know. <laughs> God bless. Well, we'll do a song for you from Bill Monroe. This one's called No One But My Darling. Palisades. Palisades is a place up in Washington State near where Reeb grew up.
thanks so much. I'll tell you a little short story about that tune. Um, where Reeb's from in central Washington, a lot of wheat farming. And they get those wheat trucks full of, full of grain and they got to get down to the river or somewhere where they can drop off their heavy load of wheat. And these trucks sometimes have to go down into Palisades. There's this beautiful canyon with a really uh, lush valley down below. They, they've got a lot of irrigation down there. They can water it really dry all around it. And there's these three sort of steps in the hill to get down into the bottom of the canyon from up above. And those are the three devils. And if you're a truck driver hauling a huge heavy load of wheat, you got to be really careful on those three devils. You might not make it down with your brakes working. You got to gear down early. You got to gear down early. So that part in the tune where it's like. See them like putting on their brace, going like. <laughs> <laughs> sweating. At least I can see it, you know. Sweating it. <laughs> sweating it. All right. <laughs> George Jones. Any George Jones fans out there? All right. Yeah. We'll sing one from the great George Jones. This one's called "The Color of the Blues." Oh.
We can't sing all sad love songs, because like David said, it's too close to Valentine's Day, and it's almost Mardi Gras, which is just all too much fun. <laughs> and uh, I have some really special, well, I have one really special friend and another new really special friend in the audience tonight. Uh, they're getting married next weekend. Very exciting. Our, our friends, yeah, go on. Uh, <laughs> our friends Walter and Ava are getting married. And, uh, yay. Very wonderful. And here's how it all starts, folks. You have to have a kind of a crush on somebody, probably, right, to lead to getting married. So you, you see someone across the room or something like that, or something kind of sparks your eye, and then you write a song like this called, Can I Go Home With You, Sweetheart? <clears throat> oh, can I go home with you, sweetheart? Can I go home with you? Well, I see you walk around the room. I watch every little Talk to everybody and you do it with such style. Can I go home with you, sweetheart, and stay with you a while? off with a crush and then we'll see how you're getting married. You know, when we're playing country songs, if, if you feel the urge, there's plenty of room to two-step out there. I see a couple dancers. There's a couple dancers back here. There's already yep. some people warming up the floor out there. Just saying. <laughs> Want to do this? Let yeah. me, we're almost that far away skies right now. We can do that. That'd be great. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, we're changing the set list a little bit. Oh, and if this you... is awesome because usually I get busted for changing the set list. Reem just changed the set list. This one, this next song is a song that was written by a friend of ours named Dean Johnson. He lives in Seattle, and he's a great songwriter. And this is one he wrote called "Far Away Skies." He's got an album coming out in July, so keep your eye out. I'm forever 
the jangle of spurs At the light of dawn Put the saddle on Start moving the herds The distant horizons Are a glorious sight And there's getting lost In the Milky Way Springtime comes 
song from the Lily Brothers. Ed Rett and Dee Lily, really great players. They're from West Virginia. And uh, there's a fellow who grew up just right down the street from them. That was like their best buddy and uh, somehow got, later on in life, kind of got uh, associated with them more as far as doing their archiving and kind of finding a lot of the old recordings and digging up old stuff. And he now lives out in Bellingham, Washington, which is where Reeb used to live. And we have some good friends up there, and we play up there quite a bit. And he, he found us and, and uh, thought that we were sort of like the Lily Brothers or something. He, something he associated us with them, and he just started kind of dumping music to us and really, really encouraging us to listen to the, some, of their, some of their music. And I had heard of them, and I'd heard some of their music, but not really studied it much for, you know, from a musician standpoint. And uh, it's really been fun to dig up their songs. And we, we've, uh, maybe we'll try a brand new one. We haven't we haven't performed this one yet. Now that I'm talking about it, we'll uh, we'll try this one. It's the Lily Brothers song, so it's an old one, but it's brand new for us. Gypsy's morning. Trust him not, oh gentle lady, though his voice.
there's an argument that turned into uh, someone stealing someone's hat, and then uh, somebody got, somebody lost their life. So it's a dark song, but it's got a happy rhythm, so it'll feel feel happy. It's called Stagger Lee.
paces when she can.
but I'm burning about going down to Louisiana and playing music down there. Mardi Gras is coming up on Tuesday. So, uh, if, we look, if we look at Instagram and all our friends, they're down there getting ready right now. And they have like, you know, they have Lundi Gras, which is a big party on Monday. And uh, they even have Sunday Gras or Saturday or whatever. It's just like the whole weekend is like full on down there up till Mardi Gras. And uh, we'll make the most of it. Gotta make the most of it. We don't play, uh, we don't sing any French Cajun songs at all, but like I said, um, we'll be doing some stuff comes from Jimmy C. Newman, who is from Mamou, Louisiana, which is really close to the, the Cajun capital of the world right there. So, here's one called The Great Big Fado Do, which is just kind of a big dance party. That's all that is. Fado Do is like French for fait dormir, which is go to sleep. Yes. So Fado Do is like go night night, put the kids to bed, move all the kitchen furniture out of the way. Sorry, kids. Get a band and have a dance. That's a Fado Do. Wait. 